hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. So, welcome to another new vlog. And finally, nagiging consistent na ako with my videos. I post uh, content on my on this channel at least once a week, and I'm pretty happy with the progress I'm making. For this video, we will be discussing more on how I stay productive and motivated all throughout the day and who are the people who inspires me to keep doing what I'm doing right now. The past few years, sobrang massive ang content na nakikita natin sa social media. Well, the problem is most people get distracted with social media. Siyempre, hindi natin may iwasan na out of focus with the things that we see on social media. Especially Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Netflix, that. So in this video, I just want to share with you the content creators that really gave me a motivation and an inspiration to keep doing what I'm doing right now. So social media has a great impact to me and also for, for most viewers who's watching this video. So I already found the phrase you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Totoo siya. Well, I'm lucky enough to be surrounded by really passionate and very motivated person na talented din, ganyan. So, man, syempre, yung kasama sa bahay, yung kuya ko, uh, yung mga friends ko, I'm really happy with my circle of friends din. Na, it, they really gave me insights and uh, inspirations to keep doing what I'm doing and especially most of my friends are very supportive with what I'm doing right now and I'm so thankful for them so this is the time to thank them thank you I have lots of content creators that I follow and kayo din and dapat you make sure na those people you subscribe or yung mga content creators or influencers na pinafollow mo would also benefit your uh, mental health, your self, dapat nang tututo ka sa kanila. So, let me start with you with the inspirational and motivational content creators. So, for the inspirational and motivational content creators, these, con these content creators really gave me a new perspective with how I manage my time, how I really uh, try to make things all together so number one i have matt diavela it all started with matt diavela from a day in my life lahat productivity how can you spend your time wisely how reading books really help you and with his podcast with different content creators and creative other creative industries na sinasaban niya sa mga videos niya especially the minimalism so now it really helped me find a new perspective on how i see things waking up early isn't an excuse to neglect sleep the research is clear the serious consequences of getting less than seven hours of sleep per night is severe according to matthew walker's best-selling book why we sleep the shorter you sleep the shorter your lifespan the old maxim, I'll sleep when I'm dead, is therefore unfortunate. Adopt this mindset and you will be dead sooner and the quality of that shorter life will be worse. And next is Jake Fru. I've always been a bit of a dreamer. I love thinking about the infinite possibilities of things that I could do with my life. But too many times, I've just been too afraid to start down a new path. So Jake Fru is, uh, I think, halos ka age ko lang ata siya. Uh, the story behind his contents are more on parang yung gusto kong mangyari dito sa content ko. Very relatable siya sa akin kasi nasa age bracket ko lang siya and I can see myself from his videos. V very unique. Why? Kasi he lives in a container van and sobrang <laughs> nakakatuwa and one of the reasons kaya ako na amaze sa paggawa niya ng content is because siya lang mag-isa so 
Ang gaganda rin ng mga gamit niya and sobrang wala lang. Sana all. So, I also have Ryoka Takashima. So for those people who don't know him, na kita ko yung content niya dahil sa coffee. So everybody knows that I really love coffee. I mean most of my friends know I love coffee. So during the pandemic, natuto akong maggawa ng coffee, magbrew ng sarili kong coffee. And dahil sa sobrang clean niya maggawa ng video, sobrang na-inspire ako dun sa mga POV niya ng mga coffees. And I just discovered na sobrang unique din nung way of how he creates his content. Hindi siya mabuka kagaya ko, hindi siya masalita. And one challenge for him is he's a Japanese content creator na hindi naman nag english So, imagine, just imagine me uh, trying to uh, understand his content creator, uh, his contents by subtitles. It's already uh, an indication that his content is really great. When it comes to content creation, there's a variety of uh, things that you can consider so hindi ka hindi mo ililimit yung sarili mo dun sa mga mainstream lang or yung mga usually nang pinapanood ng tao kasi as a content creator despite having millions of content creators around the world you are who you are you are who you are unique ka diba you can always find your uh uh you can always find your own type of making videos. And lastly, siya lang yung recent na na-discover ko content creator when it comes to more inspirational and motivational. Uh, Ali Abdaal. I don't know if I pronounce it correct. But he's a productivity and inspirational content creator na halos nag siguro 20% ang mindset ko ngayon, 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 this moment, sa kanya ko nakuha. Why? Aside from him being relatable, ang nakita ko sa kanya, he's very balanced. Gets? So, yung content niya, mixed of, una, natututo ka, pangalawa, mamomotivate and may inspire ka, pangatlo, yung uh, sobrang relatable niya kasi nga ka age bracket mo lang so makikita mo siya and pang-apat sobrang totoo lang nila sa mga videos niya so for the productivity and inspirational syempre yung core though hindi naman hindi ko masyadong pinapanood yung contents niya through YouTube most likely nakikita ko yung clips snippets uh, clips ng mga Instagram videos niya and lives ganyan pero most likely Puro audio book, uh, uh, podcast, si Gary V. But do I have the fucking obnoxious audacity? So, siya yung pinaka uh, nagsimula ng lahat na parang, okay, if you really want to make content, just do it. It takes one content daw para makapunta ka dun sa gusto kong makuha is an and world. And every fucking person that thinks it's an or world will continue to fucking lose and cry and fucking leave hate because you're fucking sad because you think the world is limited when it's fucking not. So figure it the fuck out. Does that make sense? So more on entrepreneur siya. So nakikita ko rin kung paano uh, how social media works and yung mga platforms paano mo i-consider on your advantage na parang ano yung makailangan i-focus on this specific uh, platform and dito sa platform mo to, ganito. So parang since next, halos isa siya sa mga nagsimula, makikita mo talaga yung wisdom niya towards his content and it's really something na dapat sana kung ikaw nanonood, uh, consider mo, lalo na kung you're into business or you have a business right now, he's really a good content creator for that. Let's proceed to the next category. We have the relatable content creators. So these relatable content creators are content creators na nasa sa age bracket ko. 
uh, kalike style ko I don't know pero parang nakikita ko sila sa akin so, number one and number two we have Elliot Choi and Jed Cal so si Elliot Choi uh, uh, I discovered his content when he was in college so nag-aaral siya ng big set na kalimutan basta based something business and na discover ko lang siya nung mag-start yung pandemic and then the rest is history na panad ko na halos lahat ng vlogs niya relatable siya sa akin kasi uh, yeah. yung mga vlogs niya uh, more on a daily basis which is uh, I'm trying to uh, do here in my future in my channel the future of my channel so more on daily vlogs so nakikita mo ko yung growth every day and nakikita ko sa yung siya sa sarili ko na uh, He's really passionate with what he's doing. He loves to create content. And sobrang, sobrang passionate niya. Makikita mo kung how he edits, how he uh, try to uh, make more uh, videos para lang ma-share sa mga content, uh, ay sa mga viewers niya. And sobrang outdoor person niya kasi ma-travel din siya. Kaya sobrang shit sa mga all of them. And while watching his content, yung best friend niya si Jed Cal is also it's a uh, computer engineering naman so they basically have the same content more on a day in my life kanyan ganyan very relatable siya sa akin kasi una Asian sila pangalawa very expressive sila dun sa mga contents nila and dun ko nakita yung sarili ko kaya I try my best na manood kasi sila yung isa si Jed Cal he tries to uh, balance both his work as a computer uh, as a software engineer and as a content creator sa YouTube. So, nagsistart pa lang siya ngayon. Ngayon niya lang siya nagpo-focus. Kaya, kaya naka, nakakita ko na, wow, at least namamotivate ako na, ay, nag-post siya this week. So, ako, ako din, gusto ko rin mag-post. And next is, Shawnee Depp. <laughs> So, Shani Depp is really one of the OG content creators na pinafollow ko ever since. Ewan ko, uh, he's a Singaporean. Hindi siya si Kat sa YouTube. Pero, what I love about his content is he's really into it. He has a great cinematic content. Ang galing niya. Ang galing niya mag-storytelling. His name is Lemmy. Wala lang, parang aside from him being relatable, uh, sa kanya ko na-inspire kasi he keeps on posting videos almost every week or at least every other week. He don't have the reach yet. He's already 30 something, I think 34, 32 million. Nung wala pang pandemic, sobrang kahit sa, nasaan siya, kahit saan siya. Love na love niya yung Japan, pumupunta siya sa kung saan saan. And what I visualize and what I like about his content is he's really uh, very open and adventurous. And nakita ko lang yun sa sarili ko. Uh, Na-inspire ako to be, sa mga content niya na-inspire ako mag-travel. Kasi, wow, sana all parang ganun. And with his content, wala, wala akong masabi talaga. Pag may gusto kong isipin content, naging inspiration ko lang siya palagi. Yung mga videos niya. And it's really a great way for me to uh, surround myself with this kind of content creators na very relatable sa akin. Anyways, uh, syempre, let's go to the other side of my... Uh, life, my passion. My passion sa pagpo-photography and videography. So aside from keeping myself motivated, I also consume content na aligned sa passion ko para magkaroon ako ng growth and development sa mga aspect na to. Siyempre yung photography kasi you have your own unique style of taking photos, you have your own unique style of taking videos, editing videos, ganyan. Pero you, re you still have to learn from other content creators or other photographers and videographers. 
Kasi, uh, every day is a learning process. Every day, you keep on improving. Diba? So, dun mo makikita rin yung progress nila. And, na-influence din nila ako to keep doing what I'm doing. So, number one, I have Joe Alam. So, Joe Alam yan, yung mga OG ko din na uh, content creators na pinafollow ever since. Uh, he, he loves Japan. Siguro mga five times a year siya nasa Japan para gumawa ng content, para mag-street photography, ganyan. Sa kanya ko nakuha yung passion ko sa pag-street photography. So, nung nag-Japan ako, siya lang din yung ano, uh, reason bakit parang gusto ko mag-streets, ganyan. And nagkaroon ako ng interest sa street photography, and trinay ko rin i-document para ma-share ko sa inyo. So, yun kung nakikita niyo yung mga videos ko, I also make contents ng street photography. So, yan. Sa kanya din. Next, we also have uh, Ulysses Aoki. He's a Japanese photographer. Uh, sa kanya naman ako nagkaroon ng idea about film. So, aside from film, nag-digital na lang siya more on mga, mga Laika, ganyan. Uh, I actually found his, uh, his works sa Instagram. And last year, nag-start lang din siya gumawa ng videos through the platform of YouTube. Wala pa siyang ganun kadaming reach, pero what I like about his content is sobrang sobrang cool. Kasi feel ko matagal na siya nag, nagpo-photography talaga. Nakakatuwa lang kasi with his photos, makikita mo yung uh, galing niya talaga sa pag-take ng photos. And dun ako na-inspired din talaga. So pag nagsisweet photography ako, I, I'm not trying to imitate what he he's doing pero nakikita try ko yung best ko na makita ko rin yung ganun kata ganun kagandang mata <laughs> sa pagkukuha ng mga photos and lastly dito sa photography side i have my inspiration sa pag-video and the reason behind me using my phone as my main camera Andy Tao. So Andy Tao naman is a content creator. He's, I think he's a Chinese content creator. Grew up in Oakland. Yes, kabisada. Siyempre, movie na yan ngayon. So, nag-trending sa kanya kasi yung paggawa ng cinematic using this phone. iPhone in general. So, basta may release yung bagong iPhone niya, gagawa niya ng cinematic yan. Sa kanya ako na-inspire na it's really not about the gear. I mean, well, this is iPhone, pero I can't afford to buy my own A7S III. Yun yung dream camera ko. Sobrang mahal niya. Or A7 III man lang. I really can't afford now. Pero sooner or later, I will invest on that. Pero uh, what I did is I focus more on uh, realizing na you can still create quality content by just having your phone. And so, sobrang handy ng phone. By just grabbing it from your pocket or dun sa bag mo. Then, pindutin mo lang yung video record. That's it. Great content. Content, 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 content. And lastly, also, parang feeling nyo masyado na ata bang boring yung mga content creators na pinapalo ko. But, I must say, I also have to uh, think of uh, enjoying watching contents aside from very uh, specific contents na motivational, productivity, fashion, about photography, videography. Siyempre, in terms of entertainment naman tayo. First is we have Craig Adams. So Craig Adams is a minimalist. <laughs> So, okay din siya. He's really a good content creator. His cinematics are very great. I mean, when I say great, well, he has a, a variety of uh, gears na magaganda talaga kaya nakakagawa siya ng ganun kagandang content. So, sobrang minimalist niya. Pati sa videos niya, minimalist siya. What I love about his content is yung pagiging siya lang. Uh, he loves to hike, so palagi niyang 
sinasama yung mga viewers yun sa mga height niya around the world kahit may pandemic. And he travels alone. So, sobrang relatable din niya. And I think if you're really into this kind of content na sobrang uh, peaceful lang and very cinematic, very uh, inspirational din. So, consider Craig Adams. So, whenever I miss Japan, I watch Paolo from Tokyo vlogs. So basically, ito yung mga starter for go for people na nagpaplan ng mag-travel sa Japan. Uh, things to consider anong gagawin sa Japan, ano yung mga hindi mo gagawin. So a day in my life ng isang firefighter sa Japan, mga ganun. So very uh, entertaining siya sa akin kasi mahal ko yung Japan. Mahal na mahal kong pumunta ng Japan. And seeing this diverse contents na, ah, ganito pala yung culture, ganito pala. Kahit sa social media lang. Kasi hindi nga tayo makapunta ng Japan ngayon. <laughs> no sooner or later, sana naman. At least you have, before going there, or yeah, before going to Japan, meron kang insights or mga kailangan i-consider ba, bago ako pumunta doon. And siya yung nakakatulong sa akin. Especially nung pumunta ko ng 2018. And, OG Filipino content creator, we have Irwan Yusuf. Or ngayon, yung Irwan Yusuf, uh, bagong branding na niya, feature. Feature. So si Irwan naman, siya yung mga OG content creators na pinapanood ko dati. He, kasi he loves to travel. He create contents about traveling, food. Alam mo yun? Uh, kaya sobrang relatable niya rin sa akin. And at the same time, yung mga travel vlogs niya about Shergao. Yeah. The day I am in control of my own team. So, for everyone, I know this has been very long, but I hope you really uh, learned something uh, on this video. And I hope it really inspired you to choose the, con the right content creators for you. Nantingin mo makakatulong sa you on a daily basis and will, will inspire you every single day. <laughs> diba? Sobrang powerful in social media. We have lots of content creators na we can consider a second friend. <laughs> Kahit hindi ka nila kilala. Just imagine surrounding the right people can already create a great impact to your life today. Siguro mag-isip ka na kung limang mukbang na yung napanood mo ngayon or limang prank na yung napanood mo. Ewan ko. Pero it's really up to you pa din. At the end of the day, it's your choice kung ano yung gagawin mo sa buhay mo. I hope I was able to give you a good insight on the things that I really uh, focus on during these days. Especially yung magpapandem na naman. I mean, nasa pandemic tayo, pero maglalockdown na naman next week. And it's really sad to say na ganito na naman. Back to zero na naman tayo. It's 2021 and it's already August. And I can't believe na parang paurong pa rin tayo. Pero let's just hope for the best. And I hope everyone's doing fine. Stay safe. And God bless. So don't forget to like, comment, anything you want, and subscribe to my channel for future contents. And I hope you enjoy this video. See you on the next vlog. Bye!